it's that time again, hair colouring time. And I really want to dye my hair silver. So I've been like trying to strip this out as much as possible using me anti-dandruff shampoo. And the only brand that I could find that actually looked like silver in the bottle was this one, which is Crazy Colour Graphite. Even their silver one didn't look like real silver. Ooh. Ooh. Gave you too much, now I'm swallowed Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules Dangerous path that I follow oh, Go on, just do what you do exactly the same so my thoughts on crazy color disappointing I used them in 2012 and at the time I used purple and blue I think it was like capri blue and violet I think the colors I used and I it's taken me five years to use it again because when I used those colors they were super clumpy and they came out really like blotchy in my hair this time I found the application much easier, it was a lot smoother, it wasn't too thick, it wasn't too runny, it was actually really nice to apply. But, as you can see, it's there's no difference in my hair at all. And yes, I know, I've still got colour left in my hair, I shouldn't expect amazing results. But I expected more than this, given that graphite, the colour that I'm using, the little, you know, piece of hair they have in front of at the shops, it was a dark grey, so you would expect it can go over this. And I mean, I've put in pastel pinks over top of colours like this, and yes, it doesn't turn out how it's meant to, but it still turns out you still get a difference. This is no difference, so kind of disappointed in that. My hair, on the other hand, feels really nice, but if I wanted a conditioning treatment, I would have just put in coconut oil, so... I mean, it was cheaper than my normal directions. My directions is normally, I think I pay like three pounds for directions. I think this was maybe 250, maybe 260. So cheaper, yes, great. But I think I'm just gonna stick to my directions from now on, you know? This is what happens, I go outside my little comfort zone of directions and I'm disappointed. So, yes, crazy color. Not the best. So I leave for Toronto tomorrow. And I wanted my hair to be like new and fabulous and stuff for holiday. Like I'm going to see my best friend from high school and it's her 26th birthday. So we're going to have a great time. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to have new colour. And 
Now back to the drawing board. I'm going to probably colour my hair again tonight. So, and I, <laughs> I haven't packed. I don't even know where my passport is. Welcome to my adult life. I'm prioritising crazy coloured hair over where my passport is the day before I fly out. Just do what you do. And then...